All right. Trash truck is gone. Nothing to it but to do it. That's right. Officially, episode 24 of the Camping Corner live this time. So welcome. Hello, America. <laughs> we are ready to get to it on location from beautiful Walnut Ridge Campground at my home away from home. As always, I'm the secondary co-host. Oh, you're secondary now? I'm primary? You're primary. Okay. I'm your primary. You Valerie. got it going. <laughs> hey, tomorrow, happy birthday, 244th birthday of the United States of America. Yep. The second biggest birthday in history. What's the first? Come on now, really? Well, what me. happens December 25th? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, I got gotcha. okay. gotcha. Sorry, my bad. I was waiting on him to say his birthday, too. I, so okay, I'm not thank lie. you. Like, I wasn't the only one. Okay. Yeah. I mean, in my mind. All right, quit flapping your lips and get going. All right. Ready? You have the control because you're. All right, we're on that side. Hey, first off, legal said we have to remind everybody that Camping Corner is re is record uh, is filmed live on location in front of a live studio audience. Viewer discretion it is is advised. Rated T V M A L S V R G something 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 something. But let's get to it. So we're gonna we get to control stuff today. Our executive producers really doing not much of anything today. So we're gonna start out with our first segment. What's the buzz? What is the buzz, Tommy? <laughs> You're lucky we're live. Dan might come over here. <laughs> All right, you can only choose two smells. I haven't read all of these yet. So fresh cut grass, homemade bread, strong coffee, uh, line dried sheets, dark chocolate, garden dirt, campfire, uh, brownies baking, chlorine, baby snuggles, apple pie, banana boat sunscreen, new books, Who's ever smelled a new book? You don't like the smell of a new book? Fresh towels, leather boots, and right before it rains. So you get you get the opportunity to, to you can only pick two of those. I already know. Let's hear it. Campfire and strong coffee. Because what did I say when we were driving to the campground this morning? Like I love the smell of and, the campground uh, of the camp morning. Around. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I you know I obviously can't go with new books because I have no idea what that smells like. <laughs> Not surprising. Uh, homemade bread. Mm. It's all, although it smells good, I'd have to go with. Um, I'd have to go probably with campfire, and I do love the smell of, of some new leather boots. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of good smells up there. Yeah. Choosing two. Yeah. I know I was pretty rapid fire with mine. Yeah. But it's hard. So, comment below. Let us know what you think. Which would you choose? <laughs> well, if we were trying to sell it, if this was part of the sell it segment, we I know which a, one I would get. You would yeah. get B. <laughs> but. I, which one would you, okay, which one would you choose, Tony? I'm, I'm not driving A. Yeah, see, I have to go for B. The A just looks a tad bit obnoxious for me. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't. I want to keep it simple. But I do love the fact that, you know, on B, he's got the sunscreen in the front windshield trying yeah. to keep the heat out. But. All right. So, Kara Jo just sent this in and said, enjoying our new Cougar for the first time. Home away from home for the week. Living it, loving it. We've actually had quite a few people yesterday start sending their stuff in. So, we'll share those next week. But definitely more people should send their pictures in because I yeah. get real jealous during the week when I can't go camping. Hey, we, all, right. we also have a special guest here in a little bit. And I've been trying to, to figure this out because all my life growing up, watching The Price is Right, there was Bob's Beauties. Uh -huh. And then you watch like uh, Wheel, of, uh, Wheel of Fortune and there's Vanna White. <laughs> so Camping Corner, we have our own celebrity visitor this week so you're saying he's like it's like a bob's beauty or a vanna white it, we, we we brought a combination of bob's beauties <laughs> i don't know what they're called now that drew carries the host yeah um garbage probably because uh, you know, that's what happened to the show but we, we we've got our own little letter turner so we're gonna have a lot of fun with that we're gonna we'll we'll bring our celebrity guest on here in a few minutes because we did lose our hand model we did lose our hand model. 
what 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 is what, this? what is on the web you guys oh. don't know your own graphics <laughs> we don't ever see them fair enough <laughs> wow welcome to live guys <laughs> 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 actually... all right so this is around the web yeah. you should know that <laughs> hey did you notice that we both have red shoes on yeah i prepared in case it rains you're not <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway so around the web this little chihuahua with his little camper. How stinking cute is that? Is that like the size of a toaster? What are the chances that that little chihuahua is sitting there going... <laughs> <laughs> like re just ready to like chew somebody's big toenail off? Yeah, sometimes the small ones you gotta watch out for. That's super cool. You can hear my small one, one of my small ones in the background. They're adorable. <laughs> we like this. Breaking news. Insurance companies are warning campers if your tent is stolen during the night, you you won't be covered. <laughs> I love this like this is like a classic dad joke right here. Yeah. And typically like on on big budget on big budget television shows right after that you would hear wah wah. Do do do. do. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's letting us know we're number 1. <laughs> hey, this is this is absolutely a super awesome picture. That that would make a great background, like on your screen, on your screensaver at yep. work in the office, just to remind you what it's all about. But that's a great lead into the fact that so many campers now are solar prep. Yes, they are. So you have the option to put solar panels on the roof. Yep. Yep. So that's exactly what this picture demonstrates. Obviously, they're on the beach somewhere. You've got your boondocking nowhere near an electric hookup right so solar prep is another option for you is that the same camper that we watched a couple weeks ago that was stuck in the surf no that no. one looks a lot nicer <laughs> <laughs> it could be you know miss you know you you pulled out there at low tide the other one was nowhere near new enough to be solar prep okay <laughs> says you when you walk into a trailer hitch oh we've all we've all been <laughs> we've there all done, done that this, haven't we yeah. I've done it numerous times. Yeah. So you lie down, try not to cry, or cry a lot? I don't, I don't just cry. There's, there's a lot of words. Nice <laughs> words, right? Yeah, very nice family friendly words. Right. Ding, right. dang Every it. Every time. <laughs> Shoot, gosh, gosh darn it. it. <laughs> gosh, gosh darn it. I turned into like Ned Flanders, yeah. so that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Good golly. Good golly. Matthias, what do you say? Fiddlesticks. <laughs> Fiddlesticks. <laughs> hey, it's time for everybody's third favorite segment, <laughs> Tech Monkey Gadget Corner, and we're going to meet Mallory's man. Not, real, not really Mallory's man, but... I was going <laughs> to this is Sean. Hello. I'm Sean. I'm the store manager here at Walnut Ridge, and I want to talk to you about the Gadget of the Week. So here I have a pod rocker, which if you were paying attention, Tony was also sitting in. So Tony must be a fan of them. Uh, I have tons of these in stock and I actually have them on sale for $49.99 right now. And what, what's the amazing thing about those? I mean, look how comfortable it is. And you can just kick back, relax, and you're rocking, right? I mean, this is what I'm gonna be watching the fireworks in tomorrow. That, what about you? That's probably what I'm gonna be watching them in. Right here? Either that or laying flat on the ground. Why, <laughs> why, why would that be? <laughs> We're live, Sean. We can't We're edit out live, that conversation. Sean. Well, I have tons of these. I have blue, and then Tony also has red. Like I said, forty-nine ninety-nine. This is the GCI Pod Rocker. It even has a cup holder on the side, and then a little pocket for your phone. I don't see what else you would need. Can we also talk about Tom socks? Uh, yeah, we can talk about them. They what? are. Let's see the socks. They're awesome. Uh, they're butterfly cats. I love it. I'm proud of them. They're, they're also rocking. Sean's rocking this. Hey, I got. Uh, oh, oh you I got. got some festive I got. Ones? I got two can socks on. Look at you. I got two can socks on. Dan. Do you have any festive socks? Dan's got, I got like some weird tribal guy stuff on mine. Like have... guys holding a TV screen. Yeah. It's, it's kind of stick figures. Kind of looks like that. <laughs> I don't have any socks. I'm sorry. I'm not fun. Nobody else around us, because everybody else, it's there working. are four people in the campground that are tech, that, that are officially working, and everybody else around us <laughs> is all on full-on vacation mode. 
<laughs> hey, I'm jealous. All right. But oh, I gotta hit the button. You're, yeah, you're the Bam. green flipper. What the what? What? What the what? I made you a little graphic. I like it. What the what? It's the oh, same. Everybody. It's the same graphic as all the rest of them, just up closer. We're going. Like the what? What was it? Walk like an Egyptian video. <laughs> what is it they do with talent that complains too much? Don't they get rid of them? Nobody was complaining. <laughs> I was just pointing out the obvious. Oh goodness! This might be one of my favorite what the what's. This is like a treehouse camper. Hey, look at that, Dan. That is a heartbeat of America parked right underneath it too. You know what? I'm glad it's not a Ford. That is 100. <laughs> percent I'm glad it's um, not a Ford. Oh, you know what? That, that might badly. be a Ford. Yeah, I've never treated Ford that badly. <laughs> yeah, no, that's <laughs> one of those. It might be a Ford. It actually might be that Ford Explorer sport truck thing. Oh, that well, they those don't count as Fords. <laughs> I'm glad you all get to witness this, this fifth <clears throat> live that they have every week on trucks. But let's focus on the fact that how is this thing even held up by those posts? Like, that looks questionable. What's the weight capacity you think on the inside of that camper? I, I, yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea what the tensile strength of those <laughs> four befores. Maybe six by sixes, but yeah. I but even better yet, how many people do you how how enjoyable would have that been to stand there and watch when oh, they, they were putting that there? up there? Yeah. Hold exactly. my beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could do I could do the voice of what it sounded like. Let's but. hear it, Tony. <laughs> I got a great idea. I got a flat tire. Let's just lift that whole thing up. We'll put it right up there. <laughs> right up there. Oh oh. I suppose it could have been hold my gray poupon while I put my camper way up there. <laughs> I'm really above everyone. <laughs> ah. oh. This is in some sort of foreign country. Why, why do you say that? Just based on the, the, the truck thing that's hauling it. I think so, they actually got the chairs from inside the camper. Like, does that look like he's pulling one out from inside the camper? So does that technically, does that move from being a towable unit? Is that no longer a travel trailer? That's now a motorhome? What say you, America? What say you? If you put a travel trailer on a flatbed or whatever that rickety thing is, does it technically, is it still a travel trailer on a flatbed truck or do you call it a motorhome now? I'm, I'm going to say call it a motorhome. I just feel like that's what the people that created it would want it to be considered. I gotcha. Could be. Next. Free, oh goodness gracious. <laughs> it says free candy on the side. <laughs> like, this is, oh, this is like the note. Like, this is what you teach your children not to go towards. But look past, look past the catastrophe that that is. Look at how did they get such a garbage piece of whatever that is mm -hmm. in, in, in front of such a beautiful location? Yeah, because that like got a the, mountain. Got a, the little mountain back behind it. You the know, clouds you, cresting the mountain. You can barely like see the truck under there because it's all so dark. <laughs> but oh, this thing is like you see straight out of a horror movie. Yeah. Like <laughs> all it needs is like some chainsaws hanging yeah, from the side. Yeah, I just feel like yeah, this is like the beginning of a Texas chainsaw massacre yeah. or something. Yeah. Free candy, <laughs> and it, it, it's funny. Look, the spacing between the R and the two E's, and then they were gonna run out of room. Somebody went. Oh, I ain't even got enough room to put candy on there now. I'm just gonna have to do it at an angle. <laughs> oh, you couldn't even see the van on top. Ooh, look at that heartbeat of America <laughs> underneath it. That is a that is a suburban on the bottom. You get all those. They're oh, all but you know yours. what? You know what? 
You know what's on the top of it? I don't know. I can't tell. It's That's a camo. A, that is a Ford Aerostar van <laughs> without the motor. Ford on top of Chevy. It's because the Ford was broke down and the Chevy had to carry it. <laughs> and it sat up there so long that the Ford rusted right straight to the top of that. Which one of them is the driving one? Yeah, because all the windows... Well, obviously are, the one the, with the wheels and the motor, you but genius. But the windows are all painted. Only the windows are not painted on the van. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that would make me think that the van is yep. the drivable. Look, and it looks like it's got... Somebody's getting ready for the apocalypse right there. That's exactly it's got a bulletproof is. shield right there on the front. There's a lot of bottled water and canned goods inside. Yes. I can't believe it's got at least two matching hubcaps, though. That's amazing. And MREs, Meals Ready to Eat, yep. a lot of those. Lots of MREs. Yep. 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 <laughs> oh. That's a rocket ship. <laughs> I don't I want to know what this back door is. What's that? Is that like, is that your killer outdoor kitchen? It's a toy hauler. <laughs> <laughs> it's a toy hauler. I'm going to go full outdoor kitchen. It's a full on outdoor <laughs> kitchen. On, it's a full fridge. It's a residential fridge. <laughs> what's the what's the TV chef that, that yells at everybody? Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. You open that outdoor kitchen and he like he comes out. out. <laughs> He's making hot dogs. That's worth it. Hamburgers and hot dogs in the campground. What in the heck? What? Is that a porta potty? <laughs> what is going on? It's back. Okay. The fifth wheel's backwards. <laughs> It's a truck camper. Well, okay, truck, it's still backwards. Well, it is. And the main, the, the towing part of the truck looks like it's been slapped together. None of it really matches. It's a crew cab. Everything there has been slapped together. <laughs> yeah, right. And, of the course, ratchet the ratchet straps. Gotta How's that those. go? What happens when you put, what happens when you put ratchet straps on, Matthias? He's chewing. He's busy eating. Our live studio biscuit. audience is eating in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> It'll hold. It'll hold. It'll hold. That anywhere. last little, it ain't going nowhere. That'll do it. Oh, you gotta slap the ratchet strap. So we were told to pause. Yes, yeah, since Tony thinks everything's a conspiracy against him, we're gonna let you choose whether you want one or two this week. It doesn't matter. Even our, even members of our live campground audience pointed out the fact that Mallory always gets the good ones. I mean it's not a secret, I do. But that doesn't So do you choose one scary. or two and I'm gonna I'm gonna step in and control one or two. Um I'm taking number two. Okay, both of you look away. Our hand model stepped in. Okay, there's your number two Tony. Yes <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hold on, I got I gotta I'm gonna turn the screen so I can get a little better look. <laughs> Son, that is a straight up Cadillac right there. I think, uh, or a Ford LTD, one of the two. It's a boat. But, man, you are living large and in charge. That's a tri-axle at the back. <laughs> look at all those crank out jealousy windows that can be opened in the rain <laughs> so you don't get the rain <laughs> coming in. Metal roof, cause there's nothing better the than the sound of rain oh, on a hot you. tin roof at night. Obviously, they really like their location because they haven't weed-eated around that thing in two days. <laughs> two days? I've been there for, oh, that's been there for a hot second. But it's pretty. I mean, it's got, it's, you know, it's color matched. It's not too bright. It's not too dull. You've got the cream color on the garbage in the front, whatever that thing is. The garbage. <laughs> but then the gray stripe, I mean, it just, it's, it's really pretty. I mean. The color flows. Away. I've seen worse. Yeah, you have, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you usually get stuck with worse. <laughs> that, that's pr that is definitely not the worst one I've ever okay, seen. Okay, so hit the back button and we'll see what Mallory has. Oh, <laughs> yes! I finally get the one with some plywood on there. <laughs> oh, this thing is a beaut, isn't it? Okay, so you've got some lovely windows here in the front for some, and it looks like there's windows on the other side. So lots of natural light in this thing. You know, and you may like the sound of rain on the tin of the camper, but who doesn't like the sound of rain on a tarp? I mean, you get like a full tent experience in this, you know, but you're on wheels, so it's a little better. 
<laughs> and you know, it's free game here. You could, you could paint that plywood, make it look real pretty with the blue tarp and the gray on the truck bed. There's just, there's so much opportunity here to make this thing. And it's got, did you notice the plywood? Uh, it runs. I'm relatively sure the one that I had didn't run. That's probably why I had to move. And I'm gonna guess that 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 this one does run, and they put a piece of plywood over it because can't yeah. have no water running down that carburetor. Nope. <laughs> you got plenty of space. You could spray paint free candy on it. <laughs> I mean, this thing is just an and, open opportunity. And again, it's in a it's in a nice location. Yeah. If you look back in the back. It looks like mature you know, trees. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. I think, we, I think we were it. about even on who sold it better. Like neither. I don't know. I'm just happy that you actually got a junk one. <laughs> junk one. That's prime camper yeah, right come there. Come on. It's one okay. step above a tent. Yeah. Really? <clears throat> the tarp. Somebody in the campground's missing the tarp that was over their tent. <laughs> 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 but. Oh my goodness. I think is that all of it? I don't know. Dan Dan's giving us the wrap it up. Wrap it up. So yeah, Maybe that up. is episode twenty four live. Let us know what you think of the live episodes. We may put Dan through this stress more. Yeah, next time we'll do Q and A from the viewers. Ooh, that'd be fun. I'll have that set up. We'll do a Q and A with the viewers. Yes. Matthias, you are not allowed to ask questions. <laughs> he might be too busy, too busy eating the sausage biscuit anyway. Yeah. There's no yeah. time. True. But uh, I, I think that's it. Hey, guys, big weekend. Obviously, big, huge camping weekend. Yep. Uh, please, please, please send in your photos. Yep. Let us know where you're watching um, uh, fireworks at, what you and your family are doing. Um, as much as I hate when people post pictures of this is what I had for dinner last night, it is completely acceptable. Holidays the, are acceptable. Yeah, on yeah. on the camping corner, and when you're in the campground. So, yeah. you know, if you got something good, I I know uh, our yahoos and all of us for our camping, we've got uh, ribs and brisket that's going to happen on on Saturday, and uh, so we're pretty excited about all that. We might even share a couple pictures of that. Yeah, we'll catch Matthias when he's got a mouthful of brisket or something. <laughs> Did you guys really roll up in a golf cart that says talent on the front? You just <laughs> Most now certainly, you just that? now noticed that? <laughs> I was busy slaving setting stuff up. We were busy having someone else type the sign. <laughs> wow. I'm down here pouring with sweat, setting this up. You guys show up at 929 and 30 seconds. I've been here since 5 o'clock this morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's who I heard drive by the door. And you roll up with a golf cart that says talent. I like how you just now noticed that. We want to put an arrow towards the passenger seat because that's where Mallory was. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, we're done. Like, we're done with this episode. This episode, say goodbye. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is over. Uh, we'll turn the camera off. You got to say goodbye first. All oh. right, everybody. You have a happy and safe 4th of July, and we'll see you next week. Hey, and put in the comments that Dan needs to slow his roll. <laughs> see you guys. Bye-bye.